Okay, so it is about 3 o'clock in the morning, and I guess today I'm just going to show you one of my armies. And as you can see, that army is Dark Angels. Always a fun choice for an army. Ravenwing is always a good choice. Lots and lots of bikes. And, uh, oh yeah, over here we have, uh, Samael. And, uh, this guy's a badass because he's a land speeder with level 14. Well, 10 in the back, but who cares? And, uh, you know, this is a fairly small, uh, size army. But, uh, what I'm actually here to show you today are a couple of the scratch builds that are in my army. So, let's start with this right here. See that this is drop pod. It makes the porch world dreadnought drop pod. And this is easily made out of cardstock and foam core. And of course leftover bits from the bin box. But uh this one was actually done before I got my new printer set up. So the lines aren't straight it looks all crappy and messed up stuff like that. But that's okay, whatever. I mean, it, it serves its purpose. It comes out of the sky and it delivers the Dreadnought. The Dreadnought kills things. And that's what you really want. So, that's whatever. Okay, over here I have a scratch-built Land Raider. That's right, kids. This is actually a scratch-built Land Raider. And as you get closer, you can tell that it was not uh, made by Games Workshop. But, from a distance and for my purposes on the table that's as good as you're going to get for a lot of these models yes it does have fully detailed tracks and all that mm, bits from the bits box that's what the uh sponsor guns are bits from the bits box and uh this is actually a land raider crusader but i didn't have enough bolters so i just rigged salt cannon to heavy bolters and that counts well enough. And then, you know, of course, like leftover hatches, because you get a million of them, especially because I've built, like, you know, a rhino, and, you know, basically one of every other Space Marine flavor tank. So, I had the stuff left over. So, uh, now I'm going to show you my favorite feature of this. As you can, as everybody who's ever read Codex Dark Angels knows, Hey, we don't really like the Space Wolves, so check out my mud flaps. That's right, Space Wolves. Eat it in the face. That's right. Your banners are my mud flaps. Ha ha ha. Anyhow, I I'm just kidding. I don't really hate the Space Wolves or anything like that. It was actually more of a joke to, to motivate my buddy who plays Space Wolves to, uh, to make an army to shut me up. So, uh, we'll see. But that's about as far as I'm going to go with my Dark Angels for a while. Um, I haven't really been that motivated to do all that much else with them. So, uh, now I'm going to show you something really special. This is the first of my armored company. This is my Lehman Russ. And yes, this Lehman Russ is also 100% scratch built from plastic card and cardboard. And a little bit of drinking straw there for the last gun that needs to be fixed. But uh, unlike most scratch builds, uh, the sponsors on this actually function 100%. You can actually move them and they are visible, which is really cool. I was thinking about magnetizing this thing and doing some other, you know, little weeks to it, but I kind of just like it the way it is, and the one thing that I love about it is the fact that the tracks are so freaking detailed, I'm really proud of the way my tracks came out, and of course up here you've got the, uh, the top turret, you know, and I guess I'll call that a battle cannon, this is just a Lehman Russ with heavy bolters and a last gun on the front, but uh, I'm actually going to be coming up with uh, my next couple I've already started my second one. Uh, I finished this one today and got it 
basically just base coated so it looks good enough for the video. Um, so actually, gonna have a open the floor to suggestions and uh, see what people have to say about what I should add to my armored company. So that is uh, tank number one of my armored company. And uh, once I get a little bit further, I will give you a progress report on where the armored company is going from there. So, as for all of y'all, happy modeling, and I'll catch you next time.